फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सुरजित घोष वेलकम टू माई चैनल डॉक्टर घोष प्रेजेंट पैरासिटामोल द मैजिक रेमेडी और बिगेस्ट होक्स वॉट इज पैरासिटामोल प्लीज पार्डन मी टू कीप दिस क्वेश्चन बिफोर यू फ्रैंकली स्पीकिंग द रिप्लाई टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज मच मोर इज मच बेटर नोन टू यू बिकॉज आई हैव बीन फॉर्चुनेट टू गेट दिस रेमेडी ओनली डे बिफोर ई स्टार्ट इट बिफोर राइटिंग समथिंग इन टू इज ए मास्ट so having consulted the purchaser information leaflet pill that is used to given to purchaser along with um, pack of tablet i come to know that it is a remedy of analgesic group to use for treatment of pain such as headache to take back ache dysmenorrhic pain etc and cold and flu i know most of you won't agree with me as you know this has got many other uses also you are absolutely right in fact those who are written in the pill itself i mean those who are means the uh, use i refer the use i refer before those only i get from pill from conversations overheard in streets market public vehicles etc i come to know that in fever throat pain allergy or many other diseases if two tablets are taken magic action is felt even mood becomes pleasant Some say body felt as energetic as race horse, etc., etc. I thought it was a magic remedy, but my experience tells me something else. <laughs> What I am going to disclose in this vessel, in this video. What are in What are the ingredients in paracetamol? As per pill, that is purchase or information leaflet, paracetamol has the following ingredients. on the uh, left hand side the ingredients are written name of the ing ingredients on the right hand side written uh, something that refer to this uh, left hand side active substance is paracetamol mage starch it is given to increase the density of semi fluid matter during preparation potassium sorbate it is used as chemical preservative pure talc it is used to increase the powder flow during preparation stearic acid it is used as an emulsifier povidone polyvinyl pyrolidone pvp used as tablet binder soluble starch used as an additive inactive substance on the right hand side information i have collected from internet left hand side from pill chemical name of paracetamol that is what is the chemical name of paracetamol the name is acetaminophen this name is widely used in usa iupac name iupac the term iupac has come from international union of pure and applied chemistry to name the organic compounds international union of pure and applied chemistry heads meet in a certain place and they devise a system to name organic compounds because name of the organ the number of organic compounds is so big it may be lakhs it may be crores so uh, ordinary naming will not do so they had devised a scientific naming system and that is called iupac system international union of pure and applied chemistry according to that the name of paracetamol is n phenyl mind this n means this n nitrogen n 4 hydroxyphenyl acetamide or n 4 hydroxyphenyl ethanamide or n acetyl para amino phenol molecular structure this is the molecular structure this is molecular structure and this is molecular formula c8h9no2 first mega of paracetamol in 1878 harmon northup morse first made paracetamol he was an american chemist brand names of paracetamol in india as per information in made india 2021 there were 89 different brand names of paracetamol actually brand name means these names are given by company itself they are not generic name generic name is only one acetaminophen most popular brands in india are calpol crocin pandol 
Tylenol, Exidin, etc. Now, a change in subject of this session. Uh, we will be now discussing immune system because uh, this particular video relates to two particular items. One is immune system and other is paracetamol. Now, immune system, you know, immune system. Immune system is our system body which looks after our um, uh, health. That is any sort of infection or something, anything else enters in our body that is foreign to the um, body, that is not uh, relates to body, self, that immune system comes and tries to investigate what is happening here. Actually, they are the, uh, this is the system which, by which we keep our health. Immune system basically has two parts. One is innate or non-specific, that is from birth. And that is adapted, acquired or specific, that is we acquired this during lifetime. This specific, non-specific innate, it is, it is composed of skin, mucous membrane, that is a big structures. Neutrophil, monocyte, macrophage. These are blood cells. This particular immune system acts instantly. Whenever there is infection, this innate system will rise up to this equation and move there, try to fight it. But mind it, it acts instantly, but it action is very transient, very transient. On the other hand, adaptive and acquired immune system, that is acquired immune system, that is we develop during lifetime. These are the soldiers here are B and T lymphocytes. Here soldiers are monocyte, neutrophil, macrophage. Here B and T lymphocyte. Of course, macrophage also comes here. And what is interesting in this, the B and T lymphocyte generates clone very fast. Within an hour, a particular lymphocyte can generate 1 million clone. And each clone will be a replica of the original lymphocyte. This so nice system, for this system, our body gets too much of resistance from diseases. It is enduring, that is this, this immune system enduring, it will go, go on and on, multifaceted, different type of, against tubercular germs, again typhoid germ, against something else, there are so many diseases, against every type of germ, this system will create antibody and keep you ready. Preserves general health lifelong is most important. How does paracetamol work in human body? Doing search in internet, I get the following. www.nhs.uk says, how does paracetamol work? Paracetamol seem to work by blocking chemical messengers in the brain that tell us we have pain. That is, note the technique. What he is doing, paracetamol is doing, he is blocking the chemical messenger in the brain to tell that we have pain, to tell us that we have pain. There are some chemical messengers which gives us the information of pain somewhere, paracetamol blocks that. That is, paracetamol cannot fight with the cause of pain, inflammation or irritation, something, it will not fight that. It will simply block the chemical messenger and will, which says that we have pain and since it is blocked, so we will not feel any pain. So the disease is there, we are not feeling pain, we will not be attentive to that. This is not a medicinal action, this is simply cheating. Paracetamol also reduces fever by affecting chemical messenger in an area of the brain that regulates our body temperature. Our body temperature regulates some in a particular area of brain. brain. Paracetamol goes there and it controls the temperature by interfering with the chemical messengers, not attending to the inflammatory agent. Say, I have got fever. So there is severe infection in my throat, uh, staphylococcus. So paracetamol will not fight with the staphylococcus. He will simply go and um, the brain area and the area which controls the temperature, he will control that and I will feel no temperature, that is the fever will gun, fever will go, but the streptococcus staphylococcus will remain in my throat. This is also a type of cheating, simply cheating. 
that is paracetamol is not act as a medicine it acts somewhat in, in else in different way and that way is not good way later on i will know why it is not good in another site www.drugs.com paracetamol.html writes what is paracetamol paracetamol acetaminophen is a pain reliever and a fever reducer the exact mechanism of action is not known they are saying that exact mechanism is not known paracetamol is used to treat many conditions such as headache muscle ache arthritis backache toothache colds fever it relieves pain in mild arthritis he will be mild arthritis but has no effect on the underlying inflammation or swelling of the joint arthritis means swelling of joint arthritis means inflammation of the joint acetaminophen will do nothing there will do no he has no effect on this thing what he will do he will just relieve the pain or ache that is the same thing cheating it is not a medicine at all During further search for mode of action of paracetamol in another site, I get the following. Please, uh, I'm sorry, I failed to note the uh, name of the site. <laughs> But from the um, uh, words, you can understand this is not this word is not. I made I make these words analogous to the action of serotonin. No serotonin. Serotonin is a uh, neurotransmitter or hormone-like substance which gives us a feeling of well-being, euphoria, and tranquility. or non epileptic reactive inhibitors serotonin or this non non epileptic reactive inhibitors am4 o4 what is am4 o4 the name of the am4 is given here in ara ara kidonoil ara kidonoil phenylamine what is this this is an intermediate product of paracetamol metabolism it inhibits the reuptake of endo cannabinoid anandamide from synaptic clefts increasing cannabinoid receptors activation on this post synaptic cleft this is these are occurring in the brain this would explain the experience of the relaxation tranquility euphoria reported by many paracetamol user apparently of independent analgesia there is no analgesia only paracetamol has been given but the patient is feeling relaxation tranquility euphoria this is another reason for why we are very uh, apt to take paracetamol this after taking a few hours not a few hours earlier a half an hour after we will feel this thing relax we are feeling very relaxed very tranquil in mental mentality and euphoria in the mind for that reason that is this are fully i mean imaginary things these are due to action of the medicine in the brain central nervous system it is completely false so paracetamol never acts as a medicine in any where but of course this is this feelings are good but this is this will not last after 3 or 4 hours you have to take another tablet after 3 or 4 hours you have to take another tablet that is if you want to get this relaxation tranquility euphoria you have to go on taking paracetamol and paracetamol will also harm in some other way that i am coming what way A double blind placebo controlled trial was conducted to study the effects of over the counter analgesic antipyretic medicine on virus shedding immune response clinical status in common colds 60 healthy volunteers were challenged internationally with rhinovirus type 2 and randomized to one of the four treatment arms aspirin acetaminophen that is paracetamol ibuprofen and placebo placebo means no medicine these four types of chemicals will be given to persons four groups but nobody will know who is getting which that is called blind double blind trial and there is also placebo placebo means no medicine 56 volunteers were successfully infected and shed virus on at least 4 days after challenge that is 56 volunteers were given intranasally rhinovirus and they are infected that is some sort of vaccination is done and what happens after 4 days they start shedding virus virus shedding means Uh, virus they in in their body virus is producing and virus is coming out of their nose face one mouth and every opening of the body if there are anti levels antibody levels in the blood 
clinical symptoms and signs and blood leukocytes on the blood are carefully monitored these are noted that is this is an examination of four medicines on different groups on um, on there are four parameters the four parameters are like the virus reading antibody levels clinical symptoms and blood now use of aspirin as acetaminophen was associated with suppression of mind this suppression of serum neutralizing antibody response serum antibody neutralizing antibody response this is suppressed that is decreasing why it is decreasing because acetaminophen is doing this suppression he is making suppression of serum neutralizing antibody response and increase nasal symptom something else a concomitant rise in the circulation of monocytes but it also caused the monocyte increase of monocytes you know monocytes is a part of the blood cells which comes in the innate uh, type of immune system but suppression of the neutralizing antibody response is most serious thing because this is important this neutralizing antibody this suppression of this is very very bad thing of acetaminophen 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 this action of acetaminophen is very bad he is associated with suppression of serum neutralizing antibody response antibody response should be higher but since acetaminophen is acting and it is a some sort of immune depression depressor so there is antibody response is minimized and this is that antibody which makes our adaptive immunity you know adaptive immunity or specific immunity is most important compared to innate immunity the immune innate immunity monocytes are increasing this is less important but adaptive immunity is going down this is the negative point of paracetamol very very negative point about 5 months ago around may 2021 when we were at the crest of the second wave of covid 19 many person had been dying even with attack of very common fungus like black fungus perhaps you can remember this thing the black fungus is a very common virus uh, fungus common fungus available on our system that generally do not do any harm but during that phase a lot of person died due to black fungus at that time many distinguish note this thing many distinguished physician remarked that these were results of too much use of paracetamol this medicine used to damage immune system of men even they spoke of a definite protocol of using that remedy about a week ago i read in daily ashumai that an expert physician remarked that one should not take paracetamol after covaxin this hampered the formation of antibody in human body i personally think paracetamol should not be taken after any vaccine it is a immunosuppressive drug in all cases it interferes negatively with antibody formation this is my true observation for this video we all know that after any vaccine it's taken some reactions are felt in body that is natural it proves that our body is responding if the response is too much painful remedy should be given symptomatically never but never paracetamol because it defeats our objective these days we used to note from tv radio and daily newspapers etc that a lot of persons are attacked with covid 19 for second or third time even after receipt of double doses of vaccination if histories of such persons are verified it may show that either they are in habit of taking paracetamol for trifles or they might have used the remedy after vaccination unknowingly thus interfering with the formation of antibody that's why they are attacked repeatedly in present days a group of practitioners in modern allopathic medicine used to prescribe many medicine including paracetamol with the apprehension that if other selected medicine fail paracetamol would control the case and the patient will feel relaxation and happy feeling euphoria as it always do that is this is this medicine is being used as a uh, as a uh, shortcut or cut short matter manner and you and me are for happy for this do paracetamol should not be should be used in fever of children at a last resort when indicated remedy fails most of the physician used to use routinely in the first opportunity this would certainly hamper immune system of children 
but who cares nowadays autoimmune diseases like crohn's disease ulcerative colitis rheumatoid arthritis systemic lupus erythematosus are on the rise too much use of remedies like paracetamol etc may be reason for it for unless immune system is not deformed autoimmune disease cannot exist repeated suppression of immune system might be a cause of deformed immune system with this the video ends thanks for listening and viewing if you think that this is there is argument in my uh, remarks there are logical uh, logical uh, parts the logical things in my saying or in my remarks please forward this video to your nearest and dearest one so that they can feel what is going on in our society and take appropriate steps.